Uh, good morning. Northwest Washington, out here in the front yard. Our, let's see, October 18th or 19th, 2013. This is the first time that I've got serious about hunting. I'm just, you know, out here in the front yard. But they appear to come up looking something like this. And then, of course, mature. There are numerous of them. One pushing up through the grasses here. So, watching every footfall. And as they go off into the distance here. This one has turned up, and something appears to nibble at them, slugs or some other creature. This has been going on for probably 10 days now, since the major amount of rainfall began to cease. There's a real young bud, and then they mature up into standing. In a moment I'm going to get to one that I've staged. Oh, I put it back there. I have to stage a different one. Do an upside down on it. Solid, solid stem. Slightly bulbous. Gilled. They all uh, appear to be attached I'm not telling very well. My eyes are watered up because of the chill out. This Maybe the red cap of destruction. I don't know. I've uh, tried previously in Northwest uh, YouTube to identify it unsuccessfully. There are numerous of them growing here underneath uh, a row of pines out here in our yard of a oh, good age uh, to them. Coming over here, we find something else, however. This is a... I believe that may be called reticulated. And its cousins over here, which display a very yellow, I believe polypore. It's spongy. It's spongy and it's in its seal. Numerous of them coming up from what appears to be a individual but could be like a mataki and then smaller buttons appearing here. Well, we've only covered a distance here of about 30 feet and out into out into that range or this whole panoply of of mushrooms and joey and uh, backing across the yard here just a little further down to a similar patch I believe also of the the same a breed as we've just viewed, and then coming up, I'm going to see them here, uh, onto our back porch, but this is a chicken brooder, I'm at the corner of it, some more of the same growing virtually directly out of rock, well, kind of a grain field area here.
and more still. Again, this I want to say polypore, but it doesn't appear to be a gill, and of course, all opened up and spored out by the by the dozens. Fairly thin or dehydrating stem on top of which is this sorry about that, I'm looking at it and not seeing it estimated about uh, three inches in diameter and more still the back steps grown in the garden and I believe there were others uh, of similar variety right here in the rhododendron and gravel area of the yard so from here at the corner of the house all the way around the yard here I believe there were some others down in the depth of the quince and um, there's another shrub over there, some ivies, um, catoniaster, doesn't appear to be much there, that's the spot where the alpacas regularly bathe on a summer day that's made bald there from their flopping around in the dirt. This has been interesting, I'm hoping maybe Dave will give me a, a hint if he has any clues about this, this one with yellow polypore bottom and very separated cap those which have been around for some while seem to be disintegrating or eaten I'm going long here to catch this one turned upside down again Try a spore print on this one. See if I get anything there. And let you know what color that is. Thanks, YouTube. Walk your front yard. This is Olden Found. Have a good day.